All right, today we are uh, back crossing a Chrysalita Carpus hybrid. So in the backyard, uh, we have a um, Tribana palm, which is a Chrysalita Carpus pembanus crossed with the Carii. And we are going to back cross it with Pembanus. So it'll be a Pemba X Decarii X Pemba. Um, so what we're going to do is fill up, we're gonna do some spray dispersion, which means that we mix the pollen in a water, pollen water suspension. So we get about a three quarter bottle full there. And I have a proprietary surfactant here. Surfactant uh, basically mixes in with the water and it separates and suspends the pollen in the mixture. Otherwise your pollen just sticks to the outside of the bottle and the bottom of the bottle. And as you spray it out, it just stays in the bottle. So by using a surfactant, the pollen gets suspended and equally mixed through the whole bottle. So all it takes is one drop. Oop. All right. So you always pour the uh, distilled water. We're using distilled water. And you always pour that into the, into the bottle first, not into the bag. Um, and then you add the surfactant. You mix it up just a little bit. And then here is um, Pimbana pollen uh, from August. It's been frozen. I just rehydrated it for about 30 minutes. Um, so it's dried out flowers with lots of pollen um, inside the bag. So we're gonna take our distilled water and surfactant and dump it in there. This is a lot of flowers. Most of my bags don't have this many, but it's fine. It's just gonna be a very, very, thick, heavy pollen suspension. So then we gotta mix this up really, really well. And it's already absorbing a lot of that water. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more water because there's not much in there. Let's add just a little bit more water. Okay. I'm just gonna mix this up. Squeeze it, mix it around, and the surfactant helps separate the pollen grains from the anthers and the flowers. And I'm hoping I have enough water to pour out here. I should. Okay. All right, that's a nice thick mixture. Um, all the pollen off of the bag has been removed and is now suspended in the water thanks to the surfactant. <sighs> so we're going to take this bottle and zoom out just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to take this. Um, this is a, a screen. It's um, 80... Uh, 80 windows per inch or 80 threads per inch. So this screen is just fine enough to um, filter out all of the anthers because all we want is the distilled water, surfactant, and the actual pollen grains. So this fits pretty nicely over this large bottle. And we're gonna take this, make sure it's open. Secure that, secure that. So you can see our nice setup there. And wow, look at that. And I like to kind of squeeze all the flowers, squeeze, kind of wring them out like a sponge. And you just stick them all into the uh, screen there because the screen's going to screen everything out. All right, I think that's about it. So out of all that work, we yielded about 
Uh, this is a two ounce bottle, so we yielded about uh, one ounce. And if you look in that, that is just pure pollen and surfactant, very, very heavy. That used to be clear distilled water. Now it's kind of a maybe light yellow, white, milky coloration. I'm just gonna wring off my fingers there. And we're going to do this. This is a fine mist bottle, so you can buy these on Amazon. And it makes a really fine mist. It's almost a fog. And that helps us hit all of our flowers. All right, now we're at our uh, Tribana palm. And this is the uh, current inflorescence. And it has lots of opening females. So we're gonna take our new um, water suspension with pollen. And because we filtered out all of the anthers and flower parts, it should spray in a nice fine mist without getting clogged. So I'm just gonna generally spray the top of it. I recommend wearing an N95 mask and some goggles. because otherwise the pollen can kind of get into your nasal cavity and that's not fun. Given myself severe allergies before from uh, applying pollen in strong doses. All right, and we're about, uh, have a little bit left, about a third left there. Some of these over here I've hit a couple of days ago and the pollen should be germinating and or making seed. And I just kind of spray through the bag because obviously the mist goes through the bag and it's a lot less effort than removing it. So we can see we're getting pretty low there. Over here, I haven't really hit with too much before. So um, that's about it. So we're just gonna toss this bottle. It's very hard to get rid of any remnant pollen grains that might be in there. So not a good idea to reuse these bottles. They're two bucks each on Amazon, two ounce fine mist bottle. So once I'm done with uh, three or four applications of a whole inflorescence, I'll just toss these and order new ones. So it should be good from here.